Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. The house is just a dash too far away for the Wi-Fi to stretch in here satisfactorily. If I stand against the wall which is behind the camera, uh, then I can just about get a connection. But these days, with smartphones and other devices, it's just not good enough. And in the not too distant future, I'm going to be doing something else about uh, smartphones, particularly ruggedized ones. And so I need to be prepared for that. So I was out shopping the other day, not uh, to solve this problem, but I went into Maplin, which is a, a well-known electrical store here in the UK, and I saw what I think is probably going to be the perfect solution. It's made by a company called TP-Link, and it's part of a collection of devices they do, which connect to your mains electricity supply and then allow you to extend uh, your home network uh, to any room or any part of the house on that same electrical network. And this particular kit is the AV500, and it's their Wi-Fi extension kit. Now, I'm very grateful for the people at uh, TP-Link here in the UK who sent this Wi-Fi extender to me so I can show it to you. Let me just explain how this works. Let's look at a, a typical example. Here we have a house and somewhere on the ground floor, normally at the most remote part of the house, uh, you'll have your broadband router. And associated with that will be the Wi-Fi sending, receiving, transmitter receiving uh, device that serves the whole house. Now, if you're in uh, one of the other rooms and you want to get a connection to the internet, you've got two choices. Uh, you can either use the Wi-Fi network, uh, which is created uh, at your router, provided uh, it can reach that far, or you can have a wired connection with an Ethernet cable that runs all the way from the room up here, all the way to the back of the router. Now, in modern houses, uh, you may be lucky enough to have wires already built into the house that you can just plug in to extend an Ethernet wired connection. But in most houses, that's not possible. So you're relying on Wi-Fi. Now, if the Wi-Fi doesn't stretch to a particular room, how can you end up with a Wi-Fi service so you can be part of your extended home network? And that's where this AV500 kit from TP-Link comes into its own. And inside the box, you've got two main components. You've got this power line adapter, uh, which plugs into your household main supply and then has a connection, a wired connection, to your uh, router in the house. And this provides uh, the connection from your uh, Ethernet uh, router uh, into your mains uh, wired network in the house. You then have this second device, which again plugs into the mains network of your house, but this time in the room where you want the Wi-Fi coverage to be. And it provides then a connection through the mains wiring to the power line adapter, which in turn is connected to your router. But this time, uh, it also has a, a Wi-Fi uh, transmitter receiver built in. So it's then providing its own little Wi-Fi network uh, for whatever devices are going to be in this room with it. Now, for me, uh, that offers the ideal solution because now I can have this device in the house and I can have this device in the workshop, therefore giving me a new wireless network which all my wireless devices can use over here. And also in the box you have a pair of Ethernet cables. One would be used to connect your power line adapter to the main router in the house. And the second cable is there should you need to run a wired connection uh, from the extension uh, device here uh, to another wired device in the room. You also have uh, your instructions and a miniature uh, DVD CD which has uh, more uh, information on it as well. Now in the house I've already connected the TP-Link power line adapter into the socket which happens to be very close to my broadband router. Uh, and I've then connected that uh, via cable to the router and so uh, we're now able to get a connection here in the workshop. 
I've plugged in uh, this end of the link. Uh, this is the one which will be uh, broadcasting the Wi-Fi network here in the workshop, but I've not yet turned it on. What I'm now going to do is bring you in really close so that you can see uh, my iPhone and you'll see that I've not got a connection and then we'll turn this on and see what happens. I've put this into the other socket so it's just a little bit easier uh, for you to see uh, and here's my phone and just here's Wi-Fi and it says not connected. I'm now going to turn the power on to this device and you can see it's going through a sort of little warm-up routine and it will be establishing a connection uh, to the distant end. And once it's done that, you now see it says here in my Wi-Fi I'm connected to TP-Link blah blah blah. So I now have my iPhone working here in the workshop. Hurrah! Now, in reality, the very first time that I switched this on, uh, I had to uh, make sure that uh, this iPhone uh, knew the passcode uh, for this uh, Wi-Fi uh, sending device here. Uh, and that's written on the back, uh, the side that you can't see, it's closest to the wall, and it's a very simple process. Uh, just enter the, the digits into your iPhone, and that then gives you access to the mini Wi-Fi network that we've set up here in the workshop. Now, the advantage of power line devices like these is that they are a pass-through device. So, in other words, you can plug something uh, into the front of it and effectively get the full use of the power socket that's behind it. And in this case, I'm just going to uh, plug in the power supply uh, for my rechargeable uh, headphones here. Well, I must say it's quite a treat to be able to keep up with email and stuff like that uh, on the iPhone over here in the workshop. And there'll be other things as well, I'm sure, which will uh, use this Wi-Fi link. Now, let me just talk about the software that comes with this for a second or two. When you take everything out of the box, there's no need to run the software. You can plug it in and use it straight away, which is what I did. But if you then run the software, which I've done, uh, you'll find that you can then do things like changing the password and doing all sorts of terribly technical things that I don't really understand uh, to do with sort of networky type connections and so on. Uh, now, if you wish to do that, well, you can. But there's one thing that I will just warn you about right now, and that is that the software is a little bit pervasive. Uh, once you are running it on your PC, uh, as I was, uh, then when you think you've exited it, every now and again it sort of pops up again and says, hello, I'm still here, uh, and I found that to be a nuisance. And it didn't go away until I next rebooted my computer. Uh, so I've reported that to TP-Link, and they're taking the matter very seriously, uh, and I hope that within a month or two uh, they'll have a little uh, update on their website so that people won't have to uh, reboot their computer once they've reconfigured uh, one of these Wi-Fi extenders. But that, in a sense, is a minor thing because it's just a, a nuisance, uh, but it doesn't stop the overall functionality, the overall utility of this. And in the UK, at under £50, uh, this is pretty good value for money. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.